the Honorable Member for Burnaby, New Westminster. I'm going to try again to clarify the confused, muddled position of the Conservative Government on Clarity Investment Canada Act. One minute they say clarity is not needed, the next minute anonymous sources are saying the Conservatives want to redefine the net benefit test. Now apparently the Conservatives want a two-track system. Now this is worrisome, Mr. Speaker, to anyone who saw, saw them run their single track system <laughs> off the rails last Friday night at midnight in the Patronus decision. So two track, single track, off the track, are the rules going to be in place before the decision on Nexon? Yes or no? Oh, no. Oh. The Honourable Minister of Industry. Mr. Speaker, uh, we, we improved the rules in 2007. We put new guidelines for the state-owned enterprises. We put uh, uh, also national security provision in 2009, tools to communicate also. And Mr. Speaker, as I said in regard of the proposed transaction, this will be scrutinized very closely. And each decision taken by, by this government is taken in the best interest of Canadians. Honourable Member for Burnaby, New Westminster. Uh, it's not in the best interest of the Canadians they have in mind. It's the best interest of the Conservative Party and their friends. And that's why they keep mishandling these issues. It's no way to run an economy, Mr. Here, Speaker. Here. Now, clarity on net benefits should have been in place years ago. We did the work and the government dropped the ball. The NDP has been pushing for a clear and transparent net benefit test for years. And they are mishandling decisions on Canadian... Order. Order. The... Order. The Honourable Member for Burnaby, New Westminster, still has the floor. They can't bear to hear the truth, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> so since they're mishandling these files, why are they flipping a coin? Why are they doing it on the back of a napkin? Why are they so irresponsible? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Industry. Mr. Speaker, we are open for uh, foreign investment, and Mr. Speaker, each investment has to provide net benefit for this country. But, Mr. Speaker, the clarity from the, outside, from the other side of the House, they are anti-trade, they are anti-investment, and they are for a carbon tax that would put $21 billion on burden of the Canadian tax, taxpayer, on the shoulder of the Canadian taxpayers. And, Mr. Speaker, we won't go down that path, I assure you.